I ain't even got started good. But anyway, hey guys. <laughs> Woo, child, acting a donkey child. Mm, mm, mm. Child, it is a time in the man. So how y'all doing today, child? I am feeling so much better today than I was yesterday, girl. If you saw yesterday's video, girl, you know, girl, that I was not. I was not feeling it, okay? But I was on Facebook Live last night. Hey, Katie Boo. I was on Facebook Live last night, child. So if you missed it, girl, go on over to my Facebook page, girl, and get you some, girl. Hit the replay, girl, because I was over there live, girl. Yes, indeed. Hey, Cheryl, how you doing, boo? Girl, I got a hot, a hot mess going on up underneath of here, girl. Hey, Miss K, if y'all seen the um the thumbnail, girl, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to show y'all that that mess. But we about to get it all the way together, okay? We're going to get that all the way together because I got to do my Easter makeup look today. So I'll tune into my Makeup for Dummies channel. I'm about to do that late Easter look. But girl, I just do me, okay? But I need to get myself together before I go over there. Like, I, I got to get my hair in order. I got to get my squiggly wigs in order. And I'm going to clean my face, you know, just to save time. So that way when I go over there... I can just get started with the full beat, okay? I'm going to do a full beat, okay? So wait for it, girl. Wait for it. Wait for it, girl. But right now, I got the snatch this hair back, girl. Oh, thank you, Kay. Oh, yeah, girl. Child, uh, I was going through it so bad, girl. But I appreciate y'all. Like, y'all really helped me. Y'all y'all really helped me. And matter of fact, y'all helped me. And see, this is, okay. This is what I'm trying to do. Okay. And I'm hot, girl. Already. Damn. I'm trying to learn how to, when I'm not feeling my best. Because, you know, I want to be like somewhat, somewhat of a transparent um, vlogger. Okay. Um, I share a lot, but it's a lot of stuff that I don't share. Um, but I'm trying to be more transparent. I'm trying not to shy away from the camera when I ain't feeling it. Like, I want I want y'all to see every emotion that I have, you know? Because I don't want to give off this persona that everything is grand and we and life is happy and I'm just always, you know, just swinging, okay? I don't want people to get that impression because... You know, some people could probably watch me and they could be down and they could feel like, damn, I wish I could be happy like her every day. And that's not that's that's not real life. OK, because I'm not happy every day. Um, I try to be as happy as I can when I come on camera. But when I ain't feeling it, y'all don't see me. OK, but when I come on here, I'm not faking the funk because I can't. If I ain't feeling it, y'all ain't y'all y'all gonna get what you got yesterday. Okay, that's just the bottom line. Yeah, you, you know, you're gonna get what you got yesterday. Because I can't fake it. So when I ain't feeling it, I do not come on camera. But I don't want people who may be in a bad space to think that I'm just always grand just because that's what you see when I'm on camera. It's, that's not it. So I wanna I really wanna be more transparent to help people to realize that even me go through some shit. And I'm not always happy, girl. And I get depressed and I get sad. And and one of my cooker girlfriends, um, right after I got off live yesterday, she um she video chatted me on um Messenger. And that was so sweet of her. She was concerned about me. So she just called to give me some encouraging words. And she she had me cracking up, and that's what I needed. A good old laugh, girl, because they say laughter is good for you, girl. That's why I try to laugh a lot. And she cracked me up like really, really, like I laughed like really, really hard. Hey, Miss MK3. I missed your blog yesterday, so I sent you an email. Oh, you sent me an email, Miss um, Cheryl. Okay, hon, I'm sorry. I haven't checked my emails, but I will. Thank you, boo. Um, yeah, so she, um, hey, boo, Miss Too Blessed. <laughs> girl, I was just, girl, I was just talking about you, girl. I was just talking about you, girl. But, um, yeah, had me cracking up, and that's exactly what I needed. I needed a good laugh. 
So by the time it was all said and done, hey, Del, I felt really, really like so much better. And so I realized that coming on camera, even when I'm not feeling it, is really just like the girl Tiffany said, talking helps. Because I'm usually like a private person. Like I don't, I'm, I'm that person that always, the person that people run to when they need help, you know, when they down, when they depressed, they call me. Even in my family, I'm like, I'm like the person that everybody goes to, to get advice, you know, to get, you know, what should I do? And, and whatever you're going through, I was always that ear. And when you are that person in the family, it, it becomes draining. Like it's really draining when you are the person that, that tries to keep everything together and help everybody because, you know, you're human. So when you need it, who you, who do you go to? Everybody come to you. So who you go to? So I, I'm pretty much an inward person. Like I keep all my stuff to myself. I, I don't really want people to feel sorry for me. I don't want people to cry and all that kind of stuff. You know, that's just me. Um, but I'm trying to be more open because it helps. Like that totally helped me yesterday. As bad as I felt when I was on live with y'all, I really started to feel better after the fact. And y'all could see because I did a few video well. After I did the video, you know, girl, where I was all up in my feelings, girl, I went over to Juicy Tingles. I was still feeling a little down, but it helped me, you know, just to come on and interact with you guys. And then after that, like I went on Facebook Live and I was happy. I did a uh, child. Y'all better go over there and find out how I had got my hair all the way straight, girl, yesterday with that gadget. I went over to my baby triplets channel and I played with my new, my newest little dolls. Cause that comforts me too. Believe it or not. You know, a lot of people talk shit about me, girl. You too old. You too grown. You playing with doll babies and all that shit. Okay. And I keep on telling them bald headed chia pets. As my girl Misha would say, girl, she calls her haters bald headed chia pets. Girl, I dies. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I keep on telling them I don't play with doll babies. See people, see people. See, first of all, you need to mind your, your business, okay? If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say shit, okay? I mean, I'm not going to just say some bullshit to nobody, you know, unless you come for me. So people don't understand, you know, my struggle behind the camera. And they don't realize, you know, that, you know, when your nest start getting empty, you starting to get older, you starting to realize some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it does something to me. It does something to me. And that was my comfort, you know, getting over the fact that my kids, like, come on, y'all. I have been mothering. Okay, check, check this. I have been mothering since I was 14 years old. Okay, and I'm 49. Okay, that's a long time to be mothering. Think about it. From age 14, when I got pregnant up until this day. 49 years old. That's a long time to be mothering. And the thought that, that that all those years of mothering and loving my kids and blah, 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 that shit is about to go away. Okay. Now, granted, I'm going to always have my kids until the Lord takes them away. But you know what I'm saying? The mothering when they little and you hugging them and you kissing them and you holding them and you, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. Tiffany, hey, boo. <laughs> MK3. Oh, thank you, Miss K. I love y'all too. Hey, Salvage. Yeah, girl, Misha caught girl. Look, if y'all have not gone, I told y'all, y'all need to go over and watch Makeup Diva Misha on YouTube. I'm going to try to remember to put the link in here. I forgot the last time. She's on YouTube and she also does a lot of Facebook live makeup tutorials. Girl, when I tell you Misha be getting them all the way together, because they, they be coming for Misha, man. I'm telling you, you talking about some haters. Girl, you go over to her live. Girl, don't people be a hot mess. It's a shame how rude and mean people are. But girl, Misha gets them all the way together. She said, come on, your bald head, chia pets. I got something for y'all, girl. I'm telling you, Misha will make you laugh and smile if you having a bad day. I'm just telling you now, okay? But yeah, them boy hit chia pets, <laughs> also known as haters. So anyway, where was I? Yeah, so, you know, after all those years of mothering, I only have three years left. Think about that now, from age 14 to 49 years old. And I got three more years left until my last child is grown. 
you don't stop mothering ever, ever. But y'all know what I mean. Because once they get 18, they just do what they want to do. You have no control. You know, you, they they not your babies per se anymore. Lord, somebody sending me a messenger message. Wait a minute. Hey, Aquarius, how you doing? Majid, how you doing, boo? Girl, yes, Majid, I feel so much better. And I thank y'all for that. And I thank myself for pulling through. Because like I said, that's what I'm going to start doing, y'all. So look, check this out. I know a lot of y'all like to see me happy and smiling and acting a donkey girl and all that kind of stuff. And I know I, I inspire and motivate and make a lot of y'all happy. But at the end of the day, I'm human. And y'all gonna have to get used to the fact that sometimes I'm gonna come on here and I, I'm look, I'm, I'm gonna just have to share my feelings because that's what's gonna help me, okay? So I I don't mind helping y'all, but when I get like that, I'm gonna need y'all to help me because otherwise, girl, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get missing in action, okay? I'm gonna get ghosts. I don't want to do that, you know. A lot of people look forward to me coming on here, so I don't want to do that. Miss K said you motivate me whether you're feeling up or down. Damn, see. Thank you, Miss K. See, see? So even when I'm down, I'm helping somebody. So yeah, it's very important for me to come on here, even when I'm down. So I'm going to be even more transparent than ever, y'all. So that, that's just what it's going to be. It's just going to, that's what it is, okay? So yeah, three more years. And that bothers me a lot. And I'm going to tell you what else that I realized that was bothering me, okay? I told y'all that... Um, my son's best friend, like he went to elementary school with this kid, middle school, high school. This kid stayed in my home. Like they were like two peas in a pod. And I told y'all he recently, two weeks ago, maybe he accidentally shot himself and he died. <sighs> oh my God, y'all. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm not going to do, bitch, get yourself the gavel, girl. We is not going to do waterworks today. And see, this is, this is, look, y'all, look. <laughs> oh, no. Damn, I said I was going to be transparent, but bitch, don't even start crying. Like, that ain't even me. I was married. Now cry. Oh, okay. But, y'all, it is what it is. I'm human. And I cry. I think I'm more emotional now than ever because I'm going through something, girl, pray, menopause and all that. But that really, that's been bothering me, y'all. I didn't realize how much that, that has really been bothering me because he was like a kid. He was like my son. And every time I think about him, it hurts my heart because, you know, he had a little baby, a two-year-old baby. He had been with his girlfriend. He was with his girlfriend when he was living with us oh, over 10 years. He had been with her. They finally had a baby two years ago. And I just keep thinking about the, the fact, you know, when they when the girl took the baby to the funeral home and how um the baby was saying, um, you know, tell it saying, Daddy, wake up, Daddy, wake up. And it bothers me because my kids lost their dad. You know, they lost their dad. They weren't two, but they were five and six years old. And it just reminds me of when I told them, you know, that daddy wasn't coming home. He was up in the sky working for God. And they went to the window and was looking for him in the sky. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm glad I hadn't done no makeup yet. Ah, oh, I can't. It just brings back memories of when my kids lost their dad. And I'm just, you know, like that just hurts me a lot. That bothers me, believe it or not, y'all. Whew, bitch, get yourself in order, girl. Oh, Lord, child, this is a miracle. Eyes right now up on this piece crying, girl. Oh, my God. Lord, I hope my sister ain't in here because she'll cry at the dump of a hug. And she know I don't do no damn crying. I hope she ain't in here. Lord, child. <sighs> My son told sister-in-law to wake up at the funeral last month. It was awful. <sighs> Thank y'all. Oh, God. My sister in here. <laughs> Sis, don't you start that crying and shit. I'm telling you now. Stop it. Don't. Your sister is okay. 
I'm just human and I'm just starting to be more transparent. See, my sister and my sister knows me. My sister is in here, Miss Vanna Baby. And we we are blood sisters. Like we have the same mom and she knows I don't cry. I cry, but I'm not, like I told you, I'm an inward person. So my sister don't ever see me cry and all that bullshit. I think she saw me cry when my husband died. But normally, like my sister don't see me cry. Like I keep my shit in. Okay. I'm not no waterworks person. I keep my shit in. If I cry, I cry to myself. My sister is the waterworks person. Like she'll cry. Like she said, she cried when she saw my video yesterday because I was sad. Like, so please, sis, don't cry. I'm just, I'm okay. I'm okay. I just had a moment. But yeah, that really bothers me that that child died because it's almost like a son. It's like one of my kids. So, uh, yeah, thank you, Tiffany. Hi, Peter. How you doing, boo? Hey, Jenny. Yeah, I was just talking about um, Trey, sis, and how I think that's deep inside is bothering me because he was like a son. And then, you know, I told you the little girl was at the casket and then it just reminded me of my kids and, you know. And another thing, let me just, just be all the way 100 with y'all. Okay, so my kids are getting older. Okay, my son get ready to turn 17. And for some, the older my son gets, the more he reminds me of my late husband. Facial expressions, how he, when he chewed, like his whole mouth, like a lot of things about him reminds me of his dad now that he's getting older. For some reason, he, he just reminds me more and more of his dad as he gets older. So that bothers me. You know, when I have a moment and he comes in my room and I look at him and he just, it's just his dad, like all up and through. That bothers me too, you know. Yeah, I'm all right, big, I'm all right, little sis though. Big sis is fine, child. I'm going to be ready to wipe my face off and because I got to get ready to beat this face to the gods, girl, over and make up for dummy, child. Because usually when I do my makeup or makeup from dummies, I usually just do my eyes. I put on blush. I make contour. I don't. I very rarely do foundation. But I found a way to do foundation without doing foundation. So I'm going to show you guys today on that channel. So it's not going to just be eyes and blush. It's going to be like the whole beat face. And I was on Facebook Live yesterday showing this gorgeous glow click kit, girl. So you better put your sunshades on when you go over there to watch this video today. Because, girl, I'm going to be glowing for the gods. Okay? I'm going to be glowing for the gods, girl. Yes, sir. And then I have this. Uh, I'm going to try this little new set. Because this is like a, um, it says a baking brush set. Now, I'm not going to bake. I'm going to put the powder on that I usually don't. I don't usually highlight powder under the eyes to brighten it up. I don't usually do none of that. But, um. This is a baking set, so I'm going to be using this today because I'm going to be, I don't bake. I put the stuff under there, but I don't let it sit to bake, so. But y'all going to see that. That's something I don't generally do. Now, okay, let me get myself all the way together. Thanks, sis. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate all of y'all. Yeah, thank y'all. <sighs> all right, let me get myself all the way together. Okay, now. Do y'all look? We gotta change. We gotta change this whole subject, y'all, because this, this ain't this ain't what happening. I'm gonna clean my face and stuff so that when I do go over there to do my makeup, I don't have to. You know, it just saves me time just to do this part in advance. I'm gonna wipe my face off, put the astringent on it, moisturize. I'm gonna even powder. You know, the powder. Um, if you're an oily person, powdering before you put your foundation or whatever you're doing. It just helps to keep the oil down. So I'm going to do all that here. And then, like I say, once I go over there, I can just, boom, get started with my situation. And this is a good time to pull out these wipes, girl. Because, girl, I'm not. Damn it. All right. So, moving on. Toys R Us. Did y'all know they was closing? Okay. Did y'all know that Toys R Us was closing? And y'all about to see this hair, girl. Don't even worry, child. Don't let, child, that thumbnail is the truth, okay? The thumbnail is what it looked like under my head, girl. And you will see because I got to do my hair and stuff. I'm going to be on here for a while. So if you got to go eat, take a break, girl. Okay, girl. I'll see you later. Come back and hit the replay, girl. Because I'm going to be on here for a minute, okay? But, um, 
Toys R Us is closing. Now, I'm not shocked about Toys R Us closing because Toys R Us is expensive, okay? And ever since Walmart came into the picture, like, I don't, like, who shops at Toys R Us anymore? I'm sorry, like, I haven't been in Toys R Us. I think my kids were, my son was one, and I think my daughter was, one, my son was one and a half. My daughter was like months old the last time I went in Toys R Us. And I went in there to get this little kitchen set. You know, the little the little um, Rubbermaid kitchen set and the little table set. I went in there to get that. Because Walmart don't sell stuff like that. Like that really good, hard, poor Rubbermaid furniture. And it was a whole kitchen set and, and desk set and the whole thing. And like I said, my son was almost two and my daughter was months old. So you figure if my kid's 15 and 17, that tells you how many years I've been in Toys R Us. They high. So I stayed shopping at Walmart, Family Dollar Girl, you know, whatever. I don't, I don't know. Walmart and Amazon shutting everybody down. Yup, you right. Me and mommy was calling you earlier. She came through. Oh, really, girl? I must have was asleep. I ain't even get no missed call. Mm. Well, anyway. All right, so I just wiped my face off. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not surprised, you know, that Toys R Us is going out of business. So, Toys, um, now would probably be a good time to go on Toys R Us and get some stuff, girl, because I'm sure their prices are way, way down because they're about to go out of business, so they're probably affordable now. But um, before, uh, not so much, okay? Not so much. So, girl, mm, I can't wait to take this off to show y'all the foolishness. Hi, Blake, how you doing? Oh, really? Their sales used to be lit? Yeah, they were stupid high. Like, that was ridiculous. That was ridiculous, Sam. The foolishness. But, yeah, y'all, so if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm just trying to get myself all the way together, girl, preparing for this, uh, this Easter beat, girl. It's late, but y'all know I just do me, girl. And I have procrastination issues, so I will never be able to do one time, but I say. <laughs> I got issues that I'm trying to get myself together with. All right, so look, while I'm waiting for this to dry, y'all, somebody sent me a letter. And girl, within the letter, they say, you's an old ass bitch. <laughs> no, that's not what the letter said. But no, somebody did send me a comment. And they called me an old ass ugly bitch. Okay, they put ugly on it, child. I said, well, damn, why you ain't just called me an old ass ugly bald headed chia pet? I mean, will you? Child, they tried to get me all the way to get an old ass ugly bitch. Now, y'all already know I was struggling with issues about being pretty yesterday, okay? And I noticed that people will try to take your weaknesses. That's probably another reason why I'm not as transparent as I would like to be. Hey, Miss Megan, baby boo. And she said Walmart is outrageous these days. I don't know. I think, <clears throat> I think Walmart didn't raise their prices from what they used to be because... Dollar Tree get a lot of business, y'all, because it's a lot of stuff that I used to buy from Walmart that they now sell in the Dollar Tree. I used to go to Walmart for all my all my stuff, but a lot of the stuff that I used to get from Walmart, they now sell it in the Dollar Tree. So I think Walmart has lost a lot of business due to Amazon, like Tiffany said, and Dollar Tree get a lot of business. Like, why buy my... um? Why buy my toothpaste from Walmart and pay two, three dollars for it when I can get it from the Dollar Tree for a dollar? Crest. That's what I use, Crest. And when Dollar Tree started selling it, girl, I ain't bought Crest from, from Walmart since. And that's been years. Hey, cool chica. How you doing, boo? Um, but yeah, somebody call me in a child. Like I tell you, whenever somebody, if when you let that's that's the only thing. Let me just warn anybody who want to start a YouTube channel. If you plan on being um, transparent 
transparent and a total open book, just know the criticism is going to come because them, them bullhead cheer pests, also known as haters, they will take your weakness, girl, and they will run with it, okay? So they took that little weakness that I had yesterday. I'm not feeling like I was pretty and stuff and feeling like, you know, my gray hair. And child, they wrapped all of my weaknesses up from yesterday, girl, into a comment, girl. And they called me a old ass ugly bitch. And I was like, you know what? I hope that you live long enough to be smart enough What did I tell him? I said I hope you live long enough. Oh, this is what I told him. I said I hope you live long enough to be old enough to be smart enough to live to be 50. Okay, let me repeat myself. I hope that you live long enough to be smart enough to live long enough to be 50, okay? That's how I got them all the way together, okay? Yeah, because I'm about to be 50, okay? So I had to tell that bitch, okay? I hope, okay? I hope, all right? Don't come for me, mess, okay? <laughs> so that's, hey, T-Mon, how you? That's right, Tiffany. Bloop. Boom, pal. <laughs> Shell, like, they be I'm telling you, but, you know, I, I got tough skin, so, you know, I ain't give a fuck. Excuse my expression, you know, it's like, whatever. Bitch, I was struggling yesterday with being pretty. I ain't say every day. I ain't say every day, miss. I said yesterday. But I'm about to beat my face. Now, I ain't got to beat my face to be pretty. I ain't, girl, I'm, I'm in the natural right now, okay? Now, I might not feel so pretty once I take this rag off, girl, because I'm gray hairs, but I'm about to get all that all the way together. So don't worry, girl. Yeah, girl, they came for me. They use your weaknesses, child, and they try to come for you, girl. They be trying to come for your throat up on this piece, girl. I'm just trying to tell you. But, yeah, somebody sent me a letter, and they told me they wanted me to read it on camera. Okay? And um, they're from Spring Lake, Michigan. And they sent me a letter. I ain't going to show their address or nothing. But they sent me a letter, girl. Yes, they did. And they said, now, I don't know. It's two letters. It came from the same household. So I don't know if they go to the letter and they're the other person. It's two people in this household that just loves uh, Asbury now. They love Demetria. They love Shawanda, girl. Wait till I show you, girl. They didn't draw a picture of Shawanda, girl. So they want me to do this on camera. So let me do this and then. I'm going to put my moisturizer on because it's dry now. It, say, it says, hi, it's me, Parker, from Michigan. I just found your ASMR channel, and I am in love. I especially like your hauls. They are so much fun. I am as obsessed with your Eyes Married Now channel, especially your Shaquanda Malika Shabiqua <laughs> character. <laughs> Her hair is on point. You get your clout, queen. If I could donate to your fan fund, I totally would, but I sadly can't. I am a new subscriber, but wanted to show my appreciation and support of you and your content. If you could open this on camera, just, just so I know you got it, that would be so awesome. My favorite thing that you do are your tongue pops. <laughs> you do them so good and so naturally. I am really glad you enjoyed the Mountain Dew Pitch Black. It looks super yummy. I want one. Everybody keep talking about that Mountain Dew. I must have did a review on my Juicy Tingles channel of the Mountain Dew. Um, What is it? Pitch Black uh, Soda. It says, I am watching your live streams right now and I am in love with them. Hopefully, I will be able to tune in live one time. I am so proud to be a munchkin. Oh. Because I call, I think I started off calling my people on Juicy Tingle, Tingles, my little munchkins. So they said, I'm proud to be a munchkin. I am ready to get my tingle on. <laughs> Parker from Michigan. P.S. I love your Juicy Tingles profile photo so much. Ha, ha, ha. Love you. And then they said, they drew a picture of Shaquanda, girl. They said Shaquanda. <laughs> Isn't that the neatest? Parker, number one fan. Lord, shall I die when I saw the picture of Shaquanda, girl. I was like, wow. 
So Parker, thank you, honey. I am so glad that you enjoyed uh, a few of my channels. I thank you for taking the time to write this letter. Like that's that's amazing. And somebody else within the household, they say, "Hey, what's up, everybody?" And they got juicy tingles up here. <laughs> Hey, Fayette, I love you too, boo. How you doing? Oh, child. Mm. Cool Chica says, I love Mountain Dew. It says, hashtag Shaquanda. Child, look. <laughs> so they says, I just want to start off by saying that I absolutely love being a munchkin. Your live tingle sensation shows give me all the tingles. I think that you deserve millions of subscribers and billions of views. You bring on a unique take to the usual boring, whispering ASMR. You keep it interesting. I love your Dollar Tree hauls, and I live for your mukbangs. You are an icon who has truly snatched my wig. Girl, oh my gosh. She says, you are an icon that has truly snatched my wig. Lord, child. <laughs> Thank you for scalping me. <laughs> I appreciate all you do for the ASMR community. I hope you have a blessed day, Juicy Tingles. And it says, love Sarah, your number one fan. P.S. Your channel is truly iconic and I love your profile pic. Please keep the quality vids coming. And she got a picture of clam chowder down here, y'all. <laughs> With love from Michigan. It says, you do you, girl. So, oh, how nice. So, Sarah and Parker, thank you guys so very much. I'm going to definitely hang this up in Shaquanda's little area. You know, Shaquanda got her own beauty area. So, I have got to hang this up in her area, okay? And let her see, you know, that people like her because I, I don't get along with Shaquanda Malika Shaniqua right now, okay? Ciao, bye. So thank you guys. I'm glad that you all enjoy my foolishness and my foolery. That is so sweet that you took the time to write me a letter. And I love it. And I thank you. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Hashtags are popping. <laughs> so thank you so very much. Let me wipe my hands off so I put my moisturizer on. That is so sweet. I mean, that is just the sweetest. So, let's see. All right, so. Child, I need to put something on these lips. How about that? This is this new um, little color bomb that I got from um, the Dollar Tree. It was all cute looking, so. Isn't that neat, y'all? Let me put that on my lips. So, yeah. Okay. And I'm a moisturized child. Then we're going to get to this hair, girl. Because, girl, mm, child, I hot, all hot mess. I'm using um the Stub Intensive Care Cream. Now, this is some thick cream, girl. And, child, it will have you shining, girl, like grease which for your fried chicken. Okay? So, I'm definitely going to powder this down, girl, because this is greasy, girl. I'm turn my light on. I got a light right here with a mirror attached to it. So, thank you, Sarah and Parker. That is just so sweet. So sweet. Now, try to do my lotion up this way, girl, because, you know, because I'm an old ass ugly bitch. And I don't want to contribute to the uh, gravity channel. <laughs> so, I try to keep my skin going this way, girl. Because, you know, gravity will pull your stuff all the way down. Yeah, child, they tried to use against me my weakness that I had yesterday, girl. Yes, they did. Okay, I ain't going to use all of this. That's good enough right there. Eyebrows just slip them to the side. Yeah, girl, they tried that bald head and chia pet tried to come for me. <laughs> girl, bye. You can knock me down, but you can't keep me down, bitch. <laughs> Girl, I tell you, people are so mean. People are so mean. All right, y'all. So look, I'm gonna take um this um. 
It says bye bye pores illumination. Now, I don't have pore problems, but I'm gonna use it as a um, setting powder before I do the the beat over on my other channel, so that I don't have you know oil problems. This is like a, a translucent powder or whatever, girl. It's by um, It's Cosmetics. It has a little pad on. I'm gonna use the this side. And um, like I said, this will keep the oil down when you put your foundation on. If you oily, this will keep the oil at bay. I learned this from um, what's his name here? A makeup guru. I forgot his name. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be looking a little white, y'all, but. I told y'all I'm just trying to get myself all the way together. Because this will save plenty of time when I go to do my um, makeup. You know, all these steps I just did. Wiping my face. Putting the translucent, I mean, the witch hazel on there. And moisturizing and all that. Why does this sponge smell like feet? Chow boo. Mm. Like I say, this is going to help me. Save some time, girl. So I come over here and chill with my girls. With my peeps over here. Yeah, I, this girl, that smell like feet. I don't know why. I don't like that. Yeah, so this is how it's going to be. Okay, and now I got to do my hair, my hair girl. Oh, my glasses is dirty. What y'all talking about? What y'all laughing at? <laughs> I love trans powder by itself with chapstick. Okay, all right. They some big bugs. Who some? <laughs> she said, "Damn, it's Crisco." <laughs> Peter said, "Did you get my email?" No, Peter. Somebody else. Um. Oh, I love you too, Cheryl. Somebody else said they sent me an email. Child, let me check my email real quick because y'all just trying to get me all the way to go. So this is what I'm gonna use on my her girl. Um, I'm going to use this LA, um, I got this from the Dollar Tree too, y'all. So if y'all, um, you know, use this kind of gel, you can get it from the Dollar Tree. Cause I went to Walmart to get it and it was in a bottle and it was way like, I don't know, two something, three something child. I went in the Dollar Tree girl. I was like, damn, but I don't, this don't really hold too good. I don't know. So I'm going to use this got to be glued. And I'm going to mix it. Well, I already mixed. Well, no, I didn't mix it. I actually got some of that blue, some of this mixed with something else. I'm going to add um, some of that got to be stuff to it in a minute. Let me take my scarf off, girl. So, yeah, if I'm looking a little white, it's okay. Um, But, yeah, um... Oh, and let me, I got a little quote that I want to read y'all that helped me out. And I figured, you know, maybe it'll help somebody else. Girl, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Child, it is a time in the land, but I'm going to get it all the way together. What do I do with my, um, I'm going to put it up in two, um, girl, look, I'm going to put it up in two ponytails. And I might curl the ends, girl. Look, I didn't broke out my look. I still got the tag on. It was a dollar ninety nine at the uh, at the thrift store, girl. I don't know um, if this thing is even gonna work, but we gonna see. We gonna see, girl. So let me um, wipe it off. So this is what I came on here to do with y'all today, okay? While I chat with y'all. Girl, y'all know uh, Shaquan that going to have her, her um, baby at uh, Boone Fest General Hospital, girl. So if y'all interested in seeing Shaquan to have her baby, girl, you got to go over here. Let me see. Boone Fest General Hospital. It's located, girl, for your GPS purposes. It's located at 1234 Fuckery Lane, okay, in Buffalo, New York, okay, 14283, okay? 
Boomfest General Hospital on Fuckery Lane. That's where uh, my good, good girlfriend, Shaquan, Malika Shanique, will go have our baby girl. So, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> she said, oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jenny. Thank you, um, little sis. I'm going to check my email in a minute. Thank y'all. DC Kool-Aid. Hey, boo, how you doing? I appreciate your encouraging words yesterday. Anybody who, who was on my live yesterday that gave me encouraging words or who came back and watched the replay and left me a comment. Thank you, guys. Y'all helped me out a whole lot. Y'all really did. Because, Jal, I did. I said a little prayer, girl, to get me up out that funk. And then the girl told me, um, you know, just try to, you know, not think of, of the negative stuff. Try to think of happy you know, put your mind set in a, in a happier place because you can let your mind. And that that leads me to this quote that I want to read y'all, because that lady said, you know, get your mind right. Pretty much. Don't be thinking about that, that craziness. And I have a quote that fits for that. That might help somebody else. You know, I, I try to help people when I be needing help, girl, I still be trying to help somebody else, girl. Yes, girl, that that place that I was in yesterday is not a good feeling. It's a terrible place to be. And I know a lot of y'all go through that too. Girl, I'm so glad I'm not feeling that today. All right. Let's see. Here's the quote that reminded me of that, that little tidbit of advice the young lady gave me. It says, you must train your mind to be stronger than your emotions or else you will lose every time. That is so profound and so true, guys. You must train your mind to be stronger than your emotions or else you will lose every time. That is so true, ladies, because, you know, we we really, women generally operate off of emotions, okay? And we get all in our feelings and we let how we feel control our mind. And it'll send us into a very dark place, depression, being stressed, being sad, all of that. So this quote is good for me and I'm I figured maybe it'll help somebody else who may be going through, um, you know, what I was going through yesterday. Lord, child, where is that? You must train your mind. Wait a minute, where is that? I thought that was a very profound quote, and it just, like I said, reminded me of the advice that the young lady gave me yesterday about, you know, Keeping your, your, your thoughts together. You must train your mind to be stronger than your emotions or else you will lose every time. So, yeah, that's what I have to do. Because I let my emotions get the best of me, especially now. Like I say, you know, my empty, empty nest situation is going on. The young man dying, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, I, you know, so, yeah. You don't 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 live by your emotions is basically what it's saying. Yeah, don't live by your emotions, so, yeah. All right, y'all, what was I going to do? Oh, somebody was saying something about email. Let me do that real quick. Because that's the second person that says something about did I get their email. So, I'll see. Child, this thing is acting a donkey. Hey, oh, I know why it's doing that. Cause I'm trying, I'm using a hotspot and, and I'm trying to girl, mm, I can't, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna have to check after I get offline. That's why it's acting up. Megan says, start posting quotes on your Instagram. Good idea, Megan. Cause it could probably help a lot of people. So you're right. Great idea. Thank you. Appreciate it, boo. So yeah, for those two people who asked me about an email, I will check it once I get off. I'm using a hot spot right now. Um, so I can't, I can't, you know, maneuver through that. All right, so what I'm supposed to be doing right now, child. Mm. Oh, my hair. All right, so wait a minute, I didn't drop the brush, child. Mm. So, oh, sis, I got you said that um my sister said when she was watching me over on Baby Triplets yesterday, she was with my auntie. 
And my auntie was watching it with her and wanted to know what lippy I had on it, what nail polish color. Now, I don't know what nail polish color this is because I didn't look on the bottle. I forgot to look on it at the nail shop to see what color it is. But it was like a peachy looking color. So, yeah, it was it was peach. That's that's what all I can say is it's a peach color. Now, I got the designs on there, but you can still see the peach. Yeah, it was a peach. I don't know what color is coming off on camera as, but it's a peach nail polish color. And this is the um the lip the, the lip gloss that I had on. So tell Auntie that this is a um it's by Alicia. What is this woman's name? Elon. Alicia Elon. It's a pink lip gloss by Alicia Elon. This is an old. You can see I'm starting to hit the bottom on this. I've had this thing forever. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, definitely tell her um, that's what that was. All right, y'all. So, look, I'm about to mix up some stuff here. I'm going to add some of this. Got to be glue to my gel here to make sure that it, it's going to hold and stuff. So, I'm just really just getting myself prepared to go over to... my channel to, to do my uh, makeup and stuff girl i can't go over there looking like this girl mm -mm. that is not gonna work so i'm just gonna stir that up and that way i think it'll probably hold better yeah i straightened my hair out yesterday but it's still, you can still see the straightness in it, but child, I, I sweat when I'm asleep. So yeah, let me do a dry shampoo. <laughs> this is the white one. I got one that comes out brown, but that's at home. Thank you, lovely Jackson Bull. Appreciate it, Bull. Pooh Chica says, I love baby triplets channel. Very cute. Oh, well, thank you, Bull. I appreciate that. Yeah, y'all. Um, I think I was, uh-oh. What didn't happen? Is it clogged? Well, I'll be damned. Hey, boo boo. Hey, boo boo. How you doing, boo? <laughs> oh man, my dry hair. Um, shampoo spray. My dry. Oh, dirt. Damn. I don't know what's going on. It ain't acting right, that's for sure. Okay, well, whatever. I'm going to just go ahead and... All right, well, that thing ain't acting right, so... Girl, bye. All right, so anyway, um, damn, I was talking about something. Oh, yeah, the baby triplets. Yeah, that's, that's my outlet, you know. People, I don't know, people tend to be mean about stuff that they don't understand. And instead of just asking, you know, they'll just be mean and try to get you all the way together and tell you what you shouldn't and shouldn't be doing. And I'm like, how the hell are you going to tell a grown-ass person what to do? Where's my headbands for my ponytails, girl? Ooh, child. I'm going to be in trouble if I can't find them. Headbands. And I know I put them in here. Maybe I put them in my pocketbook. This is my work bag, y'all. Chow. <laughs> I had another kind, but girl, I had the girl. Mm. Anyway. Oh my God, where is them headbands for my hair? Girl, I got to do my hair, girl. Oh, here they go. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I put them in my purse. Um. But, yeah. So, instead of asking about stuff you don't understand, they just rather just talk shit. I'm like, well, damn. You don't even have to watch it. For real. 
But they keep watching, even though, you know, I don't know if they just come over there just to talk shit or what their problem is. But I got a thousand subscribers over there. So somebody like what's going on over there. And plus, on top of that, the rebirth and reborn doll baby community is real thick up on YouTube. OK, just just Google it, girl. No, don't Google it. Go into the YouTube search engine. Put in there rebirth, reborn dolls. And you will see that I'm not the only crazy bitch. That love doll babies. People love them for different reasons, you know. Some people can't have kids. Because I know a lot of people was like, I guess who didn't know me, they was like, you know, but do you have any kids of your own, you know. I guess trying to figure out, you know, why I had doll babies. But no, it's not. A, some people do do it for the, because, you know, those rebirth, reborn, reborn dolls, they look really real. And some people who can't have kids. They retreated to that as a comfort, you know? So you have people who can have kids. You have people who have kids that, that may have died. They may have lost a baby. Um, and then you have my kind, which is the people who are empty nesting, going through an empty nesting phase. So you have different people that do it for different reasons. So if you go to those channels and listen to their story, they'll tell you why they do it. Most of them people have a story in one of their videos telling why they do it. And the reason why is because I think a lot of people that don't understand be like, what the hell? You know, they think we crazy over in that community. But I know I ain't crazy because there's so many other people that do it that I know I'm not crazy as hell. Lord, child, saying very bad connection again. I'm sorry, y'all. This connection thing keep on going in and out. Now, I know if I really needed to hold this bad boy down, child, all I need to do is do some monkey gunk on that bad boy. Monkey gunk, hair gel, and gorilla snot, to me, is the same, the same stuff, okay? <laughs> but now, you talking about some hold? If I really wanted to hold some stuff together, girl... <laughs> Child, that would be the that would be the thing to use right there. I don't know. I might use it for my squiggly wigs, but I think I'm gonna mix it a little bit because it will pull your stuff, girl. It will snatch your edges if you don't do right with it. Now, when you use that monkey gunk or that uh, gorilla snot gel. mix it with something, and then when it's time to comb it out your don't comb it out your hair. Wet your hair. It's, it's best probably just wash it out. Because you will snatch all your edges, girl. And then Misha going to be calling you a bald head chia pet. I'm just saying. <laughs> Misha going to be calling you a bald head chia pet, girl. If you keep on snatching them edges uh, after you didn't leave or your hair. You can't comb through this. I mean, you can. But, girl, I'm just trying to tell you. It's going to take all your stuff out. Okay? It's going to take all your stuff. <laughs> Lovely laugh. <laughs> I'm just saying now, girl. Child, you will be a boy here, chip that fool around with that gorilla snot. Do not comb that stuff out your head. Wash it out. Child. It's a good hold. It will hold, girl, it'll hold the world down. But, girl. Yeah, because I remember when I first, when I first, um, had bought Gorilla Snot gel. Um, I had did a video on it because I had never heard of it. My sister had told me about it. And I went out and got some. And somebody had commented, that stuff not good. It will pull all your hair out. And then somebody else had came on there and said, you know, you just got to properly handle. Now, I just plugged this up. It's a Clairol little twirl. Now, I don't know if Clairol Little Twirl work, because, girl, I got it from the thrift store for $1.99. I don't see I don't see the little thing lit up. Or do that get lit up when it turn, when it get hot? Like, it's supposed to be ripped. Like, I, I don't, ain't nothing saying that it's heating up. So, I just got to wait and see. Girl. Because I just want to, you know, just bump the little edge. I ain't trying. Like I said, I put that heat on my head. Yeah. Oh, girl, it's getting hot. Oh, I think it worked. Um, 
I had put that little heat on my hair yesterday, and I'm just going to bump the little ends today. And that's it, girl. You ain't going to see no more heat on my hair for another year or so, because I'm not. Heat will damage your hair if you continuously put it on there. Heat will damage your hair, girl. Okay, so that, that is warm enough. We'll see if it gets warm enough to do what I needed to do. Let's see what y'all talking about. What you crying about? What what is you a lovely laughing about? <laughs> Cheryl says Redken water wax is good. What's that, boo? Hi, Milan. How you doing, boo? Hey, Ashley. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, that's good, boo boo. What is y'all crying about? Like what? <laughs> y'all is cracking up. Yeah, so I'm just going to bump the little in a little bit, you know, under. And that's how I'm going to wear my hair for this little Easter. You know, I guess trying to be like a little bunny rabbit. Because it's an Easter look. And I know Easter is over, girl, but y'all know I just do big. I just want to do like a little bunny rabbit look. To go with the Easter look. Even Isaiah is laughing. What is going on? Hey, Isaiah, what is y'all cracking up about? Now, I could just... um. Really just twirl this little end and have like little puffs. I don't know. We'll see. I want to know what y'all <laughs> laughing about. Y'all even got Isaiah laughing. Child, this thing is hot. Okay, girl, my little dollar 99 cent curling iron is working, girl. It's working, girl. So I'm going to just let that sit there because I don't want. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Yeah, I had to mix some of this with this. Um, I mixed some of this with it because this alone to me, it don't hold. It says extreme sport level 10 hold, but no, this don't. Mm -mm, this don't. No. All right, so let's do this other side. And see, I know, you know, like, because I know yesterday, y'all, I told y'all I was having issues because of my gray hair, girl. I was just like, oh, my God. Somebody was saying diet. And I was like, nah, I ain't trying to put no dye in my hair because, you know, dye, girl, dye um, ain't good for your situation. And um, I use clear gel. And I know if I use dark gel, you will not see it. When I go to lay my hair, because I wear my hair in ponytails most of the time. It's either back. Like, I, I, I don't, it's very rare that I wear my hair out. Um, and I know if I use dark gel, you won't see none of this gray up in the front, but I don't like dark gel. That's the reason why, you know, but I can start to like it just so that even if I just put it on my edges so you can't see the gray, you know. All right, let's see what y'all talking about. Thanks, Miss Cheryl. Oh, wait, wait, wait. She talked about, okay. Miss Cheryl says Redken water wax. Sis. Remember that Redken water wax. We gotta try that. She said it's a shine defining gel, but it smooths flyaways. Okay. Greek philosophy. What's that, boo boo? Addict says yesterday hair. <laughs> Henna natural product. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's let's get let's snatch let's snatch this wig up. Yeah, see all of this great. I don't I don't like that. I don't like all that. And yesterday, child, that, that had me feeling some kind of whack. Child, it did. It had me feeling some kind of whack. Cause I think when I wear my hair out in that bush style, oh, child, the Obama phone ringing. Child, let's see who this calling. Hello? 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 Yes? Hi, I'm calling to congratulate you because your online registration was selected. First, the entry into tonight's $200 cash prize giveaway to your choice of either Walmart, Target, or Walgreens. That's how many retail store would you prefer? Wait a minute, miss. I ain't did nothing online. What you talking about? Someone completed our Omni Research Wait, wait, 
wait, wait, wait, wait, miss. Who? You said somebody. Who's the somebody? Who who are these people that, that that did this online thing and gave out my number? That information is on omniresearch.co. Now would you like to take a survey to win a two hundred dollar cash card to Walmart, Target, or Walgreens? You don't need to buy anything. Just let us call you back based on your answers, okay? Okay, but Miss, what I need to know who you talk about because you could be talking to the wrong person because I didn't do nothing online, ma'am. I didn't do that. This is a free entry and there's no personal information required. You only need to answer some basic lifestyle questions. So if you'd like to chat to win the two hundred dollar cash card, then let me know which retail store you prefer. Okay, well, no, thank you, hon. I, I mean, I was trying to find out who, who had entered something and entered my personal information. Okay, no problem. I hope you have a nice day. Okay, hon, you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Child, I be acting a dog. <laughs> DC Kool-Aid laughing. Child, I just be acting a dope because she said somebody. Who ain't been hold up? Man, who's the somebody? And then they gave my number as the contact. Girl, bye. Mm-mm, girl. Who was these people? Mm-mm. <laughs> I was just messing with her. <laughs> Usually, child, as soon as they start talking, I hang up, girl, because I be like, mm-mm. But that was the Obama phone, girl. I don't know, girl. <laughs> Woo, child. That's funny. All right, so let me do this. I'm trying not to wet the ends because I got to bump it with those curling eyes. Girl, I just be acting a donkey. <laughs> Even my jet laughing. Now, y'all know y'all acting a donkey. Y'all got my jet on here hollering. <laughs> Child, no fool, no fun. <laughs> that lady was like, this bitch. <laughs> oh man no food no fun y'all <laughs> child i'm just saying who is these people you talking about girl what is their name you got the wrong peoples all right so let's get this thing in the way <laughs> i appreciate y'all hanging with me in my foolishness child because i be having foolishness girl child then i was up on this bitch crying girl if y'all just came in girl i was up on this bitch crying girl can you believe it girl i was up on here crying girl crocodile tears now it wasn't that ugly cry you know that ugly cry. you know your lippy shaking <laughs> that's the ugly girl i ain't gonna do the ugly cry oh hell no girl they will clown me for day oh no uh-uh can't do the ugly cry where your lip be shaking and shit and you can't have talk. Oh, no. I ain't, ain't going to be do all that. That ugly cry, girl. They already called me a ugly old ass bitch. Then they going to say I look like a bald head, ugly chia pet crying. Mm -mm. I ain't going to be able to do it. <laughs> all of them said, ha, ha, ha. Oh, so if you make too many comments, they'll tell you to take a break and your stuff won't show up. Is that, is that what be happening up on, excuse me, the YouTube streets, y'all? She said the thing said she was making too many comments and she had to take a break. Lord, child. Wow. This thing keep on going in and out to my bad connection. So I hope y'all can hear and see me. Because when I get off of here, y'all, I'm going right over to um, Make Up For Dummies. So y'all follow me. And we're going to get this all the way together, girl. See? See, this gel, had I not added this to it, it would have been even worse. Let me just do this by itself. Because I really don't want to do Gorilla Snot. But I think I might have to when I snatch these edges. I'll probably snatch my edges off camera. And then... Okay, oh girl, oh girl, child, this will lay down your brain cells, girl. Oh girl, y'all see that? And it's covering up my gray. 
Yes, indeed. Look at that, y'all. Damn. Let me put some on the back. I want to catch it so that don't be. Okay, okay, there you go. That's how them edges supposed to look, girl. I might not even do no squiggly wigs. I might just leave it just like that. All right, let me get this curling iron going, girl, because it's nice and hot. Oh, you back, Miss Megan? Okay, boo. Oh, Majid said I love your laughter. Thank you, boo, girl. I child. Mm. I just try to laugh, child, to keep from crying, girl, because I don't, like I said, I don't want to be up here for an ugly cry, girl. Mm -mm. I don't want to do that. Okay. Um. Oh, dang, I could have sprayed because my little dry shampoo didn't work. This is um, conditioning water mix. I could have used that, but it's too late now. I don't want to spray this part because I'm trying to bump the ends. So, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to bump the ends. I think I should put, no, I ain't going to put no oil on there, girl. Then it's going to be cooking. Mm -mm, I ain't trying to cook. Yeah, let me just separate it. Oh, yeah, nice and hot. Child, I ain't used the curling iron in so long. Damn. Oh, thanks, Addict. I'm just saying. <laughs> Child, I just be acting a donkey. Oh, child. Okay, a little something. I ain't no hairdresser, child, so I don't really know how to. And remember them curling knives you used to put on the stove and you be making the noise with them and put it on the head? And, girl, I can't. I don't know how them people do that. I ain't never know how to use them kind of curling knives, the kind you heat up on the stove. Girl, it'll burn your skull. I'm just trying to tell you. I don't know what's worse, the straighten the comb or that thing. So I'm just curling the little ends just a little bit. I want to do some squiggly wigs, but I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it alone. I think we're going to go past the squiggly wigs today. But yeah, because I'm going to need all my forehead space, girl, for this beak fade. Oh, I'm starting to sweat. I'm going to have to put another kind of powder on my face um yeah i'm gonna need all my forehead space because i'm doing a, a beat face and i don't want my squiggly wigs to be in the way child that did not what the hell that did not do right this one did real good see that's why i can't all of this foolishness i can't I'm just trying to get a little something going. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me, girl. I'm just over here acting a donkey, girl. That's all I'm doing over here. Acting a donkey. Easter's best curls. <laughs> girl. <laughs> I should have I should have got a little Easter dress girl to put on to do this little Easter beat fake. Yeah, my heat girl, uh-uh. I'm gonna have to put another powder on. I'm sweating. What the heck? Uh -uh. See, that's why I can't, that's why I don't like doing um foundation and all that stuff, girl. I can't, I can't. I sweat too much. I can't be bothered. But I'm gonna do it. But this girl, mm, mm I don't like that powder. I'm gonna have to use another powder to set this situation. Cause I don't like the way that's going down. Girl, this will not, what the heck? Okay, whatever. That's what I have to do. Because that thing ain't trying to curl. I be done burnt my hair off with that thing. Okay. See, foolishness. Girl, look like a slant. What the heck? You know what? I can't. All right, moving on. See, I, I can't see. I told y'all I don't do hair. I don't I don't know how to do no hair. I, I'm not I'm not I'm not none of them things. I'm not no beautician. 
no cosmetologist, no esthetician girl. I'm not no CNA, no LPN, no RN, no doctor girl, no physician, no therapist, no psychotherapist. I'm not none of these things, Kool-Aid. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I do now? <laughs> Y'all is hollering. What is, what is going on? I don't know what's going on, girl. <laughs> Y'all see me messing up. I don't know what the hell's going on, girl. I be trying to get a little curl. See, I ain't, I was never good at this stuff. That's why I cut my hair in ponytail. People be like, you too old for ponytail. Bitch, that's all I know how to do. Yo, bald head chia pet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, child, my girl Misha. I can't wait to go home and watch Misha tonight, girl. Every time I have to come home for work, child, I'll be having Misha. I'll be like, no, what you got that girl on again? Yeah, girl, Misha is my girl. DC cool. I'm just saying. They <laughs> <laughs> they be coming for me, DC Kool Aid. <laughs> they be coming for me, DC. <laughs> so I had to come at them back, girl. <laughs> he even got Megan laughing. Lord, y'all got Danielle laughing. Hey, Danielle, child, y'all is just cracking these. Y'all better stop acting a donkey over here. Got these people coming over here cracking up. <laughs> Y'all is doing the most. Girl, mm, a hot mess. Mm, mm, mm. See, this is a mess. See, I don't... Mm. Like I said, it'll be another two, three years, child, for you see this action going on. Because I can't. I can't be bothered. This is a lot of damn work. Now, that little gadget I used yesterday to straighten my hair out, now that was the ball. Y'all been going over to make up for dummies and see how I had straightened out my hair, girl. Hey, Chasing Snooze ASMR. How you doing, boo? Hi, um, who was that? Finn? B, what? Gucci? I'm gonna call you B Gucci. Hey, B Gucci. How you doing, girl? Because you got. What you got going on here? B booty finna be Gucci. You snap. What the heck? Okay, B Gucci. Hey, boo. Girl, mm, I'm going to just leave it at that because I could not pronounce all that stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Girl, these curls are saying I would have, but I won't, and I'm not. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this hot ass mess. Ooh, look, look, look. look. <laughs> look at that thing in the wall, lump sided. What the hell? Oh, okay. See, girl, this ain't right. You know what? Uh uh. See, all that work I did. Let me just go. Let me just go to my old situation. Let me just do this, girl, because we're going to have two puffs. Because I can't. Like, I can't. I, I can't. All that work. Burning my edges, my, my ends off for nothing, girl. That curl and I ain't do a damn thing. So. Look, that's better than the damn curl and I. Look. What'd it say? You from Baltimore? Are you asking, am I from Baltimore? If you asking, am I from Baltimore? Child, yes. Child, I am a Baltimorean. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, child. You can take the girl out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the girl. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm from Baltimore. Hey, L.A., how you doing, boo? Yeah, child, I'm from Baltimore, girl. I ain't done lost my accent or nothing, because, girl, I don't fool with these people out here in New York, girl. Mm -mm. No, child. I just live out here, child. Y'all know where I want to live. Because when my kids get grown, finish school and stuff, I'm moving. I'm not staying in New York. I'm moving. I want to I wanna move to Texas, y'all. I want to move to Texas.
Girl, that thing is lumps. I look like one ponytail back and one. You know what? Okay, I'm going to look like a crazy ass Easter pink body. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. So it, it is what it is, girl. I'm just going to go over here and slay this face, girl. I ain't no makeup artist or none of those sorts of things, girl, but I just do me, okay? <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have to do good on this face, girl, because this hair is not what's popping. Maybe if I add some squiggly wigs to it, it'll look better, girl. I can't. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm over it. Bad hair day, once again. Bad hair day. But it is what it is. Yeah, so. Yeah, child, that's where I'm going when I leave here, girl. I'm going over there and get this all the way to get. Oh, I got to find another powder because this ain't what's happening. Mm-mm. This ain't what's up. Mm -mm. No, I don't like that powder. Not for this purpose. I'm going to have to find me another powder to put on. But, um... All right, y'all. Look, I appreciate y'all. Like, y'all had me laughing. I feel so much better. All my good, good girlfriends and good, good boyfriends. I love you guys. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on your way out. If you come back and watch the replay, give your girls a thumbs up. Just give me the like. Just give me the like. Just give me the likes. <laughs> give me the likes. <laughs> I love y'all too. I love you guys. I really do. So, uh, child, if you're interested, going over to my Makeup for Dummies channel, girl. I'm about to be live soon doing this uh, late Easter look. Okay? Come on over there and watch me do what I do, girl. And I will see y'all the, over there. Okay? I might go Facebook Live again. I don't know, girl, but I do. Uh, you know, I went Facebook Live last night. So, girl, follow me over on Facebook. Follow me over on Instagram, girl. Eyes me right now. Lowercase letters, no spaces. And on Facebook, my good, good government name, Demetria Wilson. Okay? All my stuff is in the description box, girl. Okay? And, um... You gonna stop past my oh you said stop past your live tonight. Oh, oh, that's right, Friday night. Okay, y'all. DC Kool-Aid and Lisa. Is it the Friday night twerk session? I was in the one last week. So yeah, y'all, if y'all ain't got nothing to do, girl, going over to DC Kool-Aid and Lisa's channel tonight, child. They be over there jamming and pumping it up. You don't want none. You don't want none. You don't want none. You don't want none. Girl, they be getting it over there. <laughs> Going over there, girl, and get your twerk on, girl. <laughs> 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, okay? So, yeah, Miss Kool-Aid, I'll probably be in here watching it because, I, girl, I, I'm working late, girl. I'm working late tonight, girl. I'm working late. So, I'll Okay. All right, that means it's time to go. All right, y'all. All right, DC Kool-Aid. I'll see you tonight, girl. You don't want nothing. You don't want nothing. You don't want nothing. Ow. <laughs> hey, Joshua. <laughs> I'm going to be over there twerking with DC Kool-Aid Lisa now. All right, y'all. I love you. <laughs> I'm crazy as hell. Girl. All right, y'all. I love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>